What's cracking, T Freaks? This is Denny. And this is James uh, from TDB.org. Bring you some Korean black tea. Uh, I see people have been commenting on all the different couleurs, so we're gonna bring some something different onto the show. Um, I don't know if we've done a Korean black tea. Maybe we've done one in the past. Um, pepperoni pizza is what I'm getting. Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, we have not red, had this hot, tea. I literally spicy? just broke the seal for this. Um, this is uh, from it's Jeju really... Island, which is kind of this uh, nice tropical island in, or well, I don't know if it's actually tropical, but it's more tropical compared to the rest of Korea. Um, and it is from Mount Hala, <laughs> which I'm probably terribly mispronouncing, um, and uh, in Korea, and is harvested around May 15th, 2017. Gosh, all these Korean teas have a very interesting, oaty, mm. creamy... It smells nice. Yo, yeah, yeah, it smells really good. I'm not getting pepperoni pizza anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of like cozy flavor pot palette, um, like flavors, and uh, I'm getting this a little bit too. Just a little bit of a kind of an oatmeal-y vibes. I'm not gonna pour too much. <clears throat> Beautiful color already. Yeah. Smell. Sort of an orange. Pretty damn oxidized in terms of the leaves. Yeah. I mean, they're not black. You can see a little bit of a more of a, a brown, green tinge, but. And black teas for you are these still pretty normal regular brews? Mm-hmm. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. Careful. Damn sound guy. This is nice. It's a... Uh... Seems very um standard black tea yeah. so far for me. Sort of like that sweet corn, barley, grain yeah. thing going on. <clears throat> I'd say it has more floral sweetness than... um like really saccharine or mm. fruity sweetness. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. So just a bit more of like a, yeah, more like flowers. <clears throat> and Denny, we did not measure out the uh, grammage of this tea leaves. Tell me your methodology of uh, just eyeballing this and, and brewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I like to, it will depend on every single vessel that you use, but my sort of heuristic is to fill the bottom up with, um, leaf for black teas and then usually add a little bit more on top of that um, if I feel like it's a really really fine leaf I won't add quite as much if the leaves are longer and fluffy then I will add a significantly um, a significant amount more as you'll need to to be able to actually make it taste like anything so mm -hmm. it really depends on the amount of leaf that you have or sorry the kind of I guess quality of the leaf, not in terms of the how good it is, but just what it's like. Mm -hmm. um, if it's fluffy, and this is kind of a medium to small size leaf, so I really did fill it up maybe a little bit less than a third of the of the guy wanted. Right. Now, yeah, now maybe a third to a half is filled up now that the leaves have unfurled a bit more. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, how about brew time? What is your methodology to start with 20 seconds? I, I mean, I did more? one rinse, and it was really clear. Cheers. This has a, um, not bitter, but uh, a little bit of a minerally um, vibe. It's, so wooies have sort of, an, it's almost like the only thing you're tasting is the mineraliness. This isn't like that. It still has a very corn sweet, floral sweet um, uh, taste and aroma, but it also is carrying a little bit more of that sort of earthiness, stone, rock vibes. Gotcha. <clears throat> anyway, back to the brewing. So um, I did one quick rinse, and then it's kind of brewed a taste. So um, with the understanding that the first three few steepings are going to get a little bit more potent, and then they'll die off a little bit. So you'll usually reduce the amount of time for the first few 
um, incrementally. So the first one a little bit longer and then shorter and then shorter and then longer, longer, longer. Um, that makes sense. And, yeah. you know, just play around with it. Um, see what you like. Every tea is different. Um, and I think it's especially when you're starting out a good idea to use a scale right. and, and get a better idea. Like and that. you are using pretty close to boiling water, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think with black teas, you definitely can. I wouldn't do that with green tea or white tea as much. Right. And you would just about never brew black tea at a lower temperature. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think you really need to. I guess, I mean, definitely like play around with it and see. Maybe it does taste better. Um, I think you should drink it at not boiling. <laughs> but I think that yeah. it does well <laughs> at... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I want to see someone drink their tea <laughs> at boiling. To like reboil the tea just and they're just like actually, in it. Yeah, yeah. actually just yeah. be a hospital visit. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just about your preferences. Do you like, you know, are you just getting into tea and everything is tasting crazy to you? Have you been drinking tea forever and you just need it the like kick in the face to get you going or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, are you there to drink it as a f- fuel? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For a local, your brew. Double the amount of wave on the bottom. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. What are you thinking of this tea, man? I For me, this tea it's seems very... Baseline. It seems very standard to yeah. me as far as it's not wowing me, but I think it's solid uh, yeah. overall. That, yeah, that'd be my. Uh, I don't know. I I can't say I'm picking up on anything incredibly nuanced or special about the tea, but I think that some of the Yunnan teas have a stronger sweetness to them, um, and I think that they're a little bit more of a corny and they don't have quite as much um, of that minerally vibe. Some of these Korean teas have a lot of saltiness, and I find that this tea has a little bit of that. Hmm, interesting. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't say this is like the craziest, most delicious tea, uh, black tea I've ever had in my life. It's interesting. It doesn't taste identical to the kind of category of the Yunnan blacks. There's right. enough variety in this tea that you would notice it. Yeah. It's leaving a nice sweetness in my mouth. Uh, very basic. To me, this could be a decent work tea or, or something like that. Toss yeah. a few leaves in. Seems pretty forgiving to brew. I haven't got anything close to puckery feeling or anything like that in Denny's brewing. Yeah, exactly. I think exactly. This is a this would be a, I think a tea that would probably pass the mom test pretty effectively. Um, and and uh, something that's definitely enjoyable to drink. Maybe doesn't demand quite as much attention. There isn't quite as much subtlety in it. At the same time, yeah. um, it's cozy. It's delicious. It's a good winter tea. Um, so you know. And we don't usually be, we don't really give like reviews of teas as much. We just kind of try to talk about them. Um, so, you know, d- take that for what you guys want. It's about your own value uh, judgment. Do you, do we have an idea of how much this bad boy costs, bad girl? No, I don't actually. <laughs> I have no idea how much tea yeah. costs anymore. I, I, I would think it's, I can't imagine this being a super high priced tea, uh, but who knows, maybe I'm It is first flush. Anyway, yeah, um, something to try out. I'd say that even though we might not be wild about this Korean tea, we've really enjoyed some Korean teas on the show. Yeah. So definitely sp- do some research in the category. Cause yeah, it's a fun category, a little bit off the beaten path. So those if you yellow want to teas as well. Up your hipster cred uh, with the tea com, then I don't know what I'm talking the about. The tea com, <laughs> get it? <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, then yeah, ch- check out some of these Korean if teas. You also want to upster up your hipster cred on the. TDB YouTube channel, you can like this video and <laughs> subscribe to it, yeah. and also post Plus two points of hipster credit. Right yeah, there. post yeah. your hipster emoji, hipster glasses emoji, and beanie emoji down below in the comments. Get your hipster mom to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, because we love her art. And <laughs> for more tea stuff, subscribe to us. Check us out on tdb.org. Um, you have some weird stuff on your nightstand that I can't stop looking at. We're going to go. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's been a good, good episode, I'd say. We'll see yeah. you guys next time for some normal uh, to wear crap. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.